Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, this video tutorial is just continuation of my previous video. In previous video tutorial, I have shown you how to implement a Spring around advice using XML configurations. So this project I am going to convert into annotation based. So let's make another copy of this project in the same way workspace. So I would copy this project in this same workspace and I will give the name a Spring EOP around advice using annotation. And let me close the previous project. And here is the another copy of this project. So let me explain you quickly about this project. This project here we have a client program and we get the I mean account service IAM instance from a Spring container by passing this ID and we make the call to the service layer method is called update account balance and here uh, we have implemented update account balance and while calling this method uh, we are calling the around advice which is defined in this class this around advice is getting called and uh, we have configured uh, are all the spring bin classes over here we have a I mean account service uh, sorry this is, we have account service aspect we have configured as a pin and account service class also we have configured as a pin and we have configured a spring EOP module over here so inside the spring EOP config we have a EOP point cut so we have we, here we have defined point cut and we have specified the ID so that at a point of time we can access this point cut using this ID and we have a, a spring EOP and which is going to refer this bin right so which works as a spring aspect and here we have defined around advice and here around advice we have configured we have given the method name and point cut reference which is going to refer this point cut so now this project I am going to uh, convert into annotation space so this all this stuff I am going to comment over here and first of all we need to make enable a spring EOP module by specifying this tag right so tag is called EOP column aspect J auto proxy now I'm going to annotate this class service class at a rate service so this is one of the uh, stereotype annotations now here as we have used this annotation so this package we are going to register here for auto proxy so not auto proxy but for component scan here base package we are going to specify okay. now we have a advice class and now this advice class I am going to annotate as a expect at the rate expect so that this will register as a expect class in the spring container now this class also we have to annotate as the at the rate component so that spring will create instance of this class and register into the spring container now we have used at the rate this annotation will be recognized by the this tag this tag right but we have as we have used at the rate component and this is the one of the stereotype annotations so this package also we have to register for auto auto scanning in the xml configuration file so here i'm going to write component column uh, component scan so this package I have registered and the rest of the things these are the things which uh, I had commented I am going to remove now right now XML file becomes slow I mean very I mean small now here I mean we can specify the object name here as well account service because uh, earlier while configuring this class into the xml file we had given the id as account service and from this id we are trying to access in the client program so that's why i have a specify id as the account service 
now everything we have done but uh, here we need to configure this method as the at the rate around device so we have a notation says called around it around right here we are going to specify the point cut so point cut here I mean XML we have deleted everything right so let me do the control Z so point cut we can take from here itself like this that's it now XML things we can clear, clear out now we are on device we have now this method we have annotated as the rate and the rest of the code will be same so if you do not understand what we have written over here then please, please refer my previous video tutorial where I had written this code from the scratch now this project we have converted into annotation based now go to the client program and try to run this project if I run then I am getting one exception account service must not be type of service I am here so we are getting exception in line number 16 account service okay i have given this object name on wrong place i was supposed to give this object name before the service class not before aspect class so that was one of the mistake now let's run this application now look at here so now our, 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 our round advice is getting caught when i call this service method right so we have defined point cut we have registered this class at the expect and here we have defined a rounded voice right so if you compare the i mean if you look into the point cut expression then with this mob when we call this method then as per this point cut expression this around device is getting called and this message got printed right before method this method name and class name and here uh, after method advice is also getting called right and finally uh, now this message is getting printed from the first of all before advice is getting called and after that service whatever things we are printing in the service method that is getting printed and here this is around advice as I said this is a combination of all four advice like before after after returning and after throwing so here after advice is getting called whatever things I have printed so this is getting printed and total execution time taken by the method this method is also we are printing over here so that's all i wanted to show you in this video tutorial guys so next series of video tutorial i'm going to cover some more details about the point cut here we have written the point cut in the advice class it is itself but there are some more i mean convenient i mean way to define point cut expression so those things i'm going to cover in next few series of video tutorials so please be there and uh, till that happy learning and thanks for watching my video tutorial